linked to sunscreen products. Haley? Yeah, so an independent group tested sunscreen and after sun products like aloe and found unsafe amounts of benzene. That is not an ingredient in sunscreen. The group that did the testing concludes that maybe it was leaking in during manufacturing, but the point is they say it's there and it is linked to cancer. The new report by Valishore detected benzene, which is associated with blood cancers in the bottle. Dr. Matthew Wilbur from Texas Children's Pediatrics in Pearland says this is bad. Benzene is such a toxic chemical that it should not be, it shouldn't be in our environment at all. Out here in the Houston sun, mixed opinions. I wouldn't worry about it because we all gonna go with something. Something gonna get us all. I always try to look at the ingredients list and, and uh, choose cleaner versions. But benzene isn't your everyday warning. Almost every governing body, OSHA, EPA, FDA, are all on board with extensive limitations of the chemical because of its unacceptable toxicity. To reiterate, that means no amount, zero, is the goal. But the government falls short of specifically defining the limits in products like sunscreen where it's not even an ingredient. So why, according to Valishore, do products like Neutrogena, Walgreens, CVS, Banana Boat, and Sunbum have 7,000 times above the recommended limit? According to a statement from the Personal Care Products Council, they are firmly committed to ensuring consumers have access to cosmetics and personal care products with ingredients that have been thoroughly tested for safety and follow the requirements of the law. But since the law may not protect you from getting cancer, Dr. Wilbur still recommends using sunscreen to protect against skin cancer, burns, and wrinkles. I would not change the way that I use sunscreen. I, I'll, I would continue to use sunscreen on myself and my kids, even with this knowledge. So there were 78 products that Valashore found to have benzene. That was only 27% of the entirety of what they tested, meaning there are a lot of other options out there if you wanted to avoid exposure. Now to check the list of the allegedly contaminated products, you can go to this article on click2houston.com. Chris, they're all listed in that article. I'll be looking for sure, oh, Haley. Uh, did Dr. Wilbur have a preference on what type of sunscreens to use? Well, I will tell you that in general, mm -hmm. doctors don't really love those sprays, those aerosol cans. Yeah. Those can get blown away. It doesn't really give you the layer of protection that you need. However, uh, as a pediatrician, he says, really, whatever your kids will tolerate, use it because it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet that most of us don't use the correct amount. He says that you should be using one to two teaspoons on every arm, leg, face, neck, and back. That's a lot of teaspoons of sunscreen. <laughs> uh, he says that that means that your family could go through an entire bottle in a day out in the sun and I yeah. again I'm willing to bet not a lot of people do that good point a lot mm -hmm. all right Haley thank you